Being a freelancer is really rewarding, but it's also a lot of work. And sometimes taking that step to becoming a full-time freelancer can be kind of scary. So in today's video, I'm going to give you seven tips to make a transition from a nine to five job to becoming a full-time freelancer. And tip number one is the most important of all, have an emergency fund. Unless your current job is like extremely toxic and messing with your mental health, I would advise you to stay there until you saved up at least six months of necessary expenses. I think that's a good number. And of course, don't touch that money unless it's a real emergency. Number two is pay yourself a salary. This is the biggest mistake new freelancers make is either they don't pay themselves like a real salary or they think everything they earn is their salary. And that is not. You have to understand how much it costs as an employee to your own company and then save the rest for taxes, business expenses, and investments. Tip number three is network. Connecting with other professionals for support and mentorship will actually provide that sense of community and help you stay motivated. But networking can also help you land new clients, build your reputation and credibility. Tip number four is take care of yourself because yes, freelancing can be quite toxic if you don't set boundaries. It takes time for you to learn what works best for you, how to deal with difficult clients, how to automate all your processes, but that doesn't mean you should be working 24 seven. It's really important to take care of your physical and mental health. Five is never stop learning. The market is ever changing and you will want to be on top of your game at all times. Investing in yourself will actually show your clients that you are equipped to offer more and maintain that high quality of work that sets you apart. Number six sounds simple, but create a portfolio. Social media is great, but it is not a substitute for a portfolio, at least in my humble opinion. A portfolio will help you market your services and get better paying projects. And there is no need for it to be your own website at first, like something like Adobe Portfolio will do. And actually Adobe Portfolio is pretty easy to set up. They have a lot of templates and they all look pretty professional. Being on freelancing platforms is my very final tip. You probably are, but let's talk about it for a second. Platforms like Upwork and Fiverr are highly competitive. We all know that. We know that there are people there looking for $5 locals. <laughs> but there are also high paying jobs listed on these platforms and most freelancers find it easier to get clients this way when they are just starting out. Like this, they can build up their portfolio and collect some testimonials. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and let me know in the comments where you are in your freelance journey. And I will see you next week. A per Investing in your client